I was talking to Tom about this movie that nobody wants me to make. It's a musical called M, starring uh, Siamese twins connected by the lips. <laughs> connected by the lips. <laughs> now, I That's figured that how to do that, too. See, I had this yeah. uh, dentist friend. Oh. Very religious guy. Yeah. In fact, he believes in the laying on of hands. and He, he really would touch a tooth and make it better. Yeah, yeah. That's why I go to him. I can't stand pain. Right. But I'm getting off the, the track. He has a... Uh, you know, I think he'd go along. He could be in the movie. I okay. figured he should be. All right. All right. Is he? Does he have any acting experience? No, no, no. He's, no? He, he'd be a reactor. Ah, yeah. Ah, that's just yeah, a reactor. He's got this, you know, mask that he wears. Yeah. And yellow gloves. He's he's afraid. That yeah. He, you know, he's very nervous. But I get the camera on him, a wide-angle camera on yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. And I'd ask him if he could make a double mouthpiece. Mm-hmm. What I'm thinking of, you've seen these things that they use in the circus, uh-huh. uh, where the, the girl bites into this mouthpiece and they pull her up. Ah, yeah, the, yeah. The, they, they, uh, they, they suspend her by, by, and she's biting onto some kind of a right. stick. Or up to the yeah. top of the tent? Yeah, right. Well, what I, he'd make a double thing with a little rubber holding it together. Ah, yeah. And then we'd audition these identical twins. Yeah. And, and that would hold them together so that it would seem, you know, it would look like I'm talking about. Right. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we should have a, a boy and girl. Are there boy and girl identical twins? I, I, well, they're not. I wouldn't call them identical. I mean, if they were, they were boy. And well, boy maybe and that girl. could be. And then they could be separated in the film. Uh huh. See, see, the idea is not just that, though. That's just yeah. part of it. Yeah. There's another guy in the film that uh, I try to help because I, I thought of calling the movie "The Devout Catalyst." Yeah. Is the title. Mm-hmm. There's another guy who uh, is a tattoo artist, hmm. and but he's avant-garde. He, he wants to do something very special, something new. Yeah. In the world. So uh, we go to this chemist yeah. that I know, and he makes a slippery ink. Yeah. So the tattoo, you know, it just it just doesn't sit there. Why? It moves hmm. slowly across the surface of the skin. Yeah. Toward the nearest opening. See, there's ah. how many openings are there? Well, you mean you mean orifice? Uh, yeah. How many? Yeah. How many actual? One, uh, two, three, three, four, five. Whichever uh, one it's closest to, you yeah. see, goes in there, and then it moves inside your body through the endothelium. Yeah. And say it was an eagle. Yeah. It gets inside of you and it gets digested. Yeah. Maybe it gets stuck and behind your right kneecap. Right. You rub it and gets loose. And when it comes out, it looks like a clay. Right. Or maybe a Rouen or, you know, or Thurber, you know. That's wild. But uh, I got a little money laying around. But what we'd have to have with that is, uh, well, that's a special effect. Yeah. We'll have to get some kind of a decal that will slide across the skin. Yeah. But the trouble is, when I tell any about this, they, they laugh and... <laughs> so what I figure I'll do is put my own money in it. Yeah, there, there you go. Yeah, just put but in the movie, yeah. the kids, my three kids, mm-hmm. and my wife, want to have me committed. Right. Yeah, that's the plot. <laughs> that if you really do what you want to do, they, they'll commit you. Yeah. Wow. It'll be a great movie. Well, are, are you going to direct... Uh, well, yeah. we can get Jerry to do the music track. The music, yeah. And, and you could, you know... Yeah, I could play a part. You, well, you could be the guy I'm talking to about. Yeah, right. I bet you. Get a far out bar and sit there and... Star. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. The musical called M. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm looking to diversify my investment portfolio, and I, I've been looking to get into something strange, you know, so... Hey, what we could do, we could have you in it. Mm-hmm. You take out your wallet, yeah, and moths fly out. Yeah. That's a special effect, too. <laughs> you get a bug guy for that. They, yeah. they have bug guys in Hollywood. Right. That, uh, they that. All they do is <laughs> they work in the insect world. You're going to have a lot of medical footage in this, too, I guess. You know? Yeah, I could put that yeah. thing in about the January flies, too, in our yeah. bedroom. Yeah. January that, flies? What? That was insane. What are January flies? Well, we don't have them in Chicago, but in the middle of January, I went to the bedroom, there were 20 of these almost as big as horse flies on the pink walls. And uh, my wife That's annoying. Oh, it's terrible. And they 
they were sluggish because it was January. They were a little slow. Yeah, and I couldn't hit them with the paper because they'd splat. Yeah, and, and I couldn't uh, spray them. You know, you're going to sleep. You no, don't want I, that in the room. No, I'd kill myself that yeah. way. So I got the bright idea to get the vacuum cleaner and with the long hose we yeah. sucked. <laughs> We sucked them into the the vacuum cleaner. Wow. And when I know they were all gone. Well, but they were in the vacuum cleaner, really. Yeah, it's still alive too. Yeah. Because it's like a wind tunnel. Yeah. They went down there, so we I put some, uh, uh, cl- you know, tissue paper at the end. Yeah. So they wouldn't get out. Hmm. Yeah, but they come back this the next night. There were twenty or thirty more. Wow. So, uh, well, what I what I did then, I I called a chimney sweep. Chimney sweep. Yeah, uh, there's a girl by the name of Debbie Dove. Who, She's from, a chimney sweep. Yeah, from Vermont. Ah. And uh, she said, no, "Let me check your chimney." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good place to start. I mean, if you have a fly problem, a lot yeah. of people will look in the chimney first. And she uh, took the barricade that I had, so you know, nobody could come in through the chimney. There were two uh, dead squirrels inside there. You know, just. Uh, Oh. And the the flies belong to the squirrels. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she, she sold us three uh, squirrel traps for the chimneys, and uh, yeah, we're safe now. Yeah. No more flies. You think we could get her in the film? Gee, I don't know. We could write a part for her. Yeah, uh, no, we should. You know, she yeah. have any uh, film experience? I guess we'd have to get two dead squirrels in the film too. Yeah. Well, you get an animal guy for that. Yeah. You know? Gee, I'm so glad that you're interested in the yeah. thing, really. Yeah, I think uh, I'm ready to go into production, and uh, so you just let me know. You know. Oh, great. We'll call it The Devout Catalyst. I love it. Yeah, good title. Uh, a lot of action in the film, too, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, I have one thing that I... Uh, I have this picture window and colony that I'll, I'll have as a, for the titles. Ah, nice. Yeah. So they, the, the, the ants will actually spell out the, the title of the right. film and, and the credits. Well, they'll actually pull little tissue paper ah, credits. Yeah. Through the... Nice. Yeah. Oh, what about a fly with a little trailer with the title of the film on it flying nice. around the bedroom? Nice. Well, Tom, you've made me feel a lot better. <laughs> Thanks. I, seriously, I, I thought no one would care. But thanks. I'm there for you, Ken. You're a pal. Yeah.